Uh, this is a great initiative by the system, by the Australian Government, to give access for patients for their own care beyond their own doctor. So it allows the patient to retain the services of well-known and trusted specialists and other colleagues, other health professionals, allied health professionals, um, and not duplicate the workload, all because that information is sitting there in the shared health summary available to everybody else to use. The practices need help with this because they don't see the financial reward or the personal reward to do things. So they need to be shown that this is, this is a way of the future and to be guided through the process. I think the key thing that's got the patient's uh, attention is that their doctor says that they should have one. If you um, get the endorsement of their GP who they trust, then they are much easier to convince. Uh, that's, the, that's the nature of general practice in Australia. The GP is a trusted member of the community and if we are leading the charge in something, the patients will follow and uh, that's, a, that's a great thing. We have a large patient base, so we had to be careful. So we chose 55 up. Um, because they're mainly the patients that would be doing more travelling than the younger ones around Australia and sometimes they go away for three months at a time to get rid of the Victorian winter. So we thought if we targeted them, then that would be the best. And that was when we were approached by BML to look at um, in, you know, how we would go about enrolling our patients and that's when they came up with the idea of having an e-health VIP day. And so we went with that much easier. It's the best way to get a patient to have an e-health record and marry them up easily um, and efficiently with their clinician. So otherwise they would have to register either in Medicare or try and do it online or the other methods that are available. And that can be a barrier, um, certainly for a lot of older patients. So we have about three patients enrolled before the doctor starts their afternoon surgery. Um, so there's no wasted time and then the patient sees the doctor and the doctor uploads the summary and that's, then they leave, happy people. We would definitely would not have had eHealth VIP days without the um, BML staff helping us and they've been fantastic, really good. They take the brunt of the work because they're sitting out there in the waiting room with the patients, enrolling the patients and that's, um, you know, that's the major thing. So for the clinicians it's very simple and there's great benefit to the patients. So there's certainly a value to the practice because it gives us an opportunity to stop for a moment, take a little bit of time to repair the medical record so that it's, uh, it's in its best possible state, so the information is correct. We have uh, the medications on the list are in fact what the patient is taking. The past history is correct. We can uh, get the dates uh, appropriate, matching their, uh, their condition. Um, and then the patient has the benefit of that correct information being available to other doctors and other health professionals should they become unwell in the future and in distant places. Yeah, it's an opportunity to clean the files and, and therefore use uh, the data extraction tools that we have uh, to much more effect. So that the patient's history individually looks better, but the practice's history, the practice's data uh, overall looks better and then can be used and manipulated to, to align resources and, uh, and uh, provide a better service to the community and to the practice itself. I think it's got great potential to, to harmonise the system, to make it integrate much better. Um, it needs the buy-in from the pathology companies, from the imaging companies, from the public hospitals uh, and private hospitals, as well as general practice, um, as well as allied health and the other, the other health uh, practitioners. This is, a, this is a really positive thing for general practice to do. Uh, it allows the population health to be assessed and managed, um, to allocate resources in an appropriate fashion, to, uh, uh, to supply uh, let's say so allied health psychologists, dietitians, diabetic educators to regions where they are needed um, according to GPs 
data in their practices. There's no doubt that general practice needs to see itself as part of the system rather than having that individual patient contact uh, which is completely protected. So the GPs in, need to see themselves integrating with other specialists and allied health um, in order to maximise the benefit to the patients. And if that means sharing information with the other specialists and the allied health practitioners, then, then that's, that's to the benefit of the patients in order to get their, their journey much smoother. It means now that they can get uh, all the information that uh, they require and they know exactly where I am health-wise. Because I think that you need to have a, a quite a nice alliance between you and your GP. And uh, if he suggests that this is worthwhile, uh, then I think you should give it serious consideration in all probability take it on. What you need to do is to allay people's fears that it's going to invade on their privacy, just to indicate that wherever they are, their medical records would be of value to whoever is attending to them at that time.